Hi, in this video, we're going to solve the ninth question from the chapter motion in a plane. Now, हमें क्वेश्चन में दिया गया है कि हमारे पास एक कार है and it is moving with a constant velocity and इस velocity की value हमें दी गई है and let us represent for time being this velocity as v. And question में हमें ये भी बताया गया है कि this car experiences an acceleration, but हमें इस एक्सेलरेशन का नेचर पता नहीं है नाउ दिस एक्सेलरेशन कैन बी इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मोशन इट कैन रेजिस्ट मोशन और इट कैन बी समथिंग एल्स हमें अब तक ये एक्सेलरेशन uh, के नेचर का कुछ आइडिया नहीं है सो लेट अस लुक फॉर सम मोर क्लूज इन द क्वेश्चन नाउ क्वेश्चन में हमें ये भी बताया गया है कि ये जो हमारा कार है दैट इज मूविंग अलॉन्ग अ सर्क्यूलर पाथ सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ हाउ इज दिस पॉसिबल सो हमारा जो कार है दैट दैट ऑलवेज वॉन्ट्स टू गो इन दिस डायरेक्शन दैट इज uh this linear vertical direction so the only reason it is being able to uh, travel in a circular path if there exists an acceleration that is always redirecting this car towards the center of the circle so agar hamara acceleration ek aise nature ka hoga jo hamesha is car ko circle ki taraf redirect karega only then my car is able to move in this circle and humne hame pata hai ki what this acceleration is called this acceleration is called as a centripetal acceleration and if that is the case then my velocity also or my speed becomes tangential speed and then we can comfortably say ki acha this is the example of a uniform circular motion and hame ucm ke sare formulas pata hai to hum ye bade hi aasani se ab solve kar sakte hain so let us start our solving process so sabse pehle i am going to write all the given data that's been given to us so sabse pehle jo statement 1 mein hame diya gaya hai that is the speed with which our car is traveling and that speed is said to be 50 meters per second now the second given value jo hame di gayi hai that is the time required by the car to complete one uh, one revolution that is time period and that time period is 40 seconds and iske alawa aur kuch given nahi hai so let's quickly go to our to find section and we only have to find one value in this particular example and that is the acceleration in this case the centripetal acceleration okay so let's quickly solve this so uh, we have to find centripetal acceleration using the values of tangential velocity and time period so let us write the formulas so the first formula because jiske wajah se hum acceleration dhoon sakte hai is uh, i can say it is v square by r uh, now though we know the value of v the only challenge is we don't know the value of r but uh, we can always calculate the value of r because hame velocity or time period pata hai so for a ucm we know speed is equal to 2 pi r upon capital t so from this particular formula we can find the value of r over here and then we can substitute this value of r in this particular formula and get our centripetal acceleration so again hamara jo numerical hai wo do hisso mein bat gaya hai the oh, sorry the first part is to calculate so uh, calculating our radius of the circle so i'll quickly uh, substitute so from formula 2 so if we substitute all the value we get 50 is equal to 2 pi r is unknown and time is 40 so if we were to calculate this we get r is equal to 50 into 20 upon pi therefore i can say r is equal to 1000 upon pi and the units will be meters so hame ab r ka value pata hai and now finding the value of acceleration should not be a big task because we actually know all the values so the second part of our numerical is to calculate a centripetal acceleration ac so we know that a is equal to v square upon r as per formula 1 so we'll quickly substitute all the values so a is equal to 50 square divided by 1000 which is divided by pi so pi is in the denominator of denominator so it will go into the numerator so we'll have 
2500 which is the square of 50 into pi divided by 1000 which comes out to be 5 by 2 pi now let us express this value in terms of decimal number so a comes out to be 7.85 meter per second square again units are very 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 important all si units okay so this is our value this is the value which we were required to calculate make sure you write the final statement that is the acceleration magnitude of the acceleration of the car is 7.8 meter per second square for the screenshot here is the first screenshot with the data given data and visualization and then you have the second screenshot with the solution with this i hope this helped you thank you